of being blinkered, um, that we're just concerned with the singular things. Um, and I suppose this uh, exhibition may uh, wrongly be accused of being blinkered. Um, I mean, when Paul asked me to introduce Minister Quinn uh, this evening, I, I, did, I did go on Google Earth, uh, which is something I love doing, uh, and, uh, uh, to look at Tel Aviv, see what I could make of Tel Aviv. I've never been to Tel Aviv. And Israel and Palestine. And I suppose I was struck by the patterns of the landscape, which seemed to be such a contrasting uh, and disrupted landscape of what seemed to be, uh, you know, pebbles uh, uh, alongside manicured fields. And then, of course, you zoom in, and, and what you see is this extraordinary contrast. And uh, I suppose it is, it is a, a kind of sad contrast. And, but this exhibition, it isn't about denying injustice or denying unreal, uh, reality. It's actually an opportunity for people to connect and communicate. And for Dublin to communicate with Tel Aviv, you can, people can write whatever they want on those postcards. And, and that's what happens in civilized society. People are able to communicate freely. So just another thing. Um, uh, it is also very appropriate that Minister Quinn is opening this exhibition today on the day he launched the new curriculum uh, for, um, for the junior cert. And, and I really hope that Minister Quinn will introduce uh, or consider introducing a module on design thinking and politics. <laughs> uh, uh, because uh, design is about understanding our place in the world, yes. which is what this exhibition is also about. Uh, and Peter Buchanan, uh, who spoke at the recent RAI conference, which Minister Quinn uh, attended um, and also spoke at, uh, Peter Buchanan said that uh, design is mankind's way of participating in evolution. Um, what I say is design is something that helps us adapt, innovate and grow. Anyway, over to you, Minister Quinn. Thank you. <laughs>